Fritz. Bended knee, nine years old, waiting for just one word. I was thinking of all the things my daddy told me of sin and salvation and manhood and dignity. All that time in the dark, just one word, backslider! Now I remember the day I stepped into the water and my daddy held me in his hands and pushed my head under and said Son, I am so proud Just one word Backslider! 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 Well, I opened my eyes and the daddy held me in his hands. I looked up through the water and I thought I saw Jesus and then... Well, I threw up my hands, and I heard amen, and I prayed to sweet Jesus, don't let me become a backslider, a backslider, a backslider, backslider, yeah. Whew. All right. It's the first time I've done uh, that one since the surgery, and I can still talk. So, hey. My name is Gravity Groove. This is Not Safe for Work, Runeterra, and that was Backslider by the Toadies. Mm. band I've seen live a bunch of times. They're a weird mix of, like, uh, sort of stoner rock, alt rock, with, like, Led Zeppelin-esque vocals and... Pixie's weirdness sprinkled throughout. It's probably a pretty underrated band, I think. Ooh, that's a tough one. All right. Where were we? What are we doing? Something we haven't played in a while, because I generally don't like aggro decks. I tend to find them a little boring. Is just regular old vanilla as hell pirate aggro. <laughs> Now, I think um, some builds of this have cut Precious Pet for an additional spell. I think this build is only actually uh, six spells. Uh, it's three Decimates and three Noxian Fervors. So Zap does always fetch Noxian Fervor in this current uh, in this current permutation. I'm going to take a quick look at what the uh, what the more common version is. Yeah, it is this one with no additional spells. And uh, is there anything we would maybe want to put in here? To replace a couple of the one drops, because we've got six, eight, 12. 12 is a lot. Um, Brother's Bond isn't terrible. Could allow us to trade up a couple times. Kind of sticks with the same clock. Uh, let's cut one pet for one brother's bond. And... We might end up wanting a couple brother's bonds, but I kind of like having a fun of in there. Let's try that. So we're playing something that is a really simple strategy, right? Run your opponent into the ground, and it does so uh, with a pretty low curve and then efficient ways to deal damage at the top end 
that have nothing to do with whether your opponent uh, has blockers or not. Captain Farron allows you to just cast Decimate over and over again. Zap, of course, is unblockable. Fervor, Decimate, and sometimes Gangplank's attack, uh, difficult to deal with. Uh, Demolitionist and uh, Grenadier both deal damage in a way that has nothing to do with combat math, as does Corsair, Corsair and Misfortune to a lesser degree. Uh, I think that this is good against most things, but probably bad against uh, War Mother's decks. Where you're just like, hey, do you have Avalanche? Game two. <laughs> uh, most of the time, that's just what's going to happen. Uh, I think that's okay, though. I think that's probably okay, though. Uh, we could cut another pet for the uh, the third Ballista. That would make for ten one-drops. Try it this way for now. The good thing about this is it's simple to play, the games go quickly, and uh, it's not that... Uh, I mean, there are some lines that can that can be a little tricky, but for the most, most part, it's considered a really beginner-friendly deck. And because it goes quickly, you don't feel like you're stuck in purgatory against uh, decks you couldn't beat anyway. So this is like the aggro mirror. Their creatures are much stronger, and we have no removal for them. So we're probably pretty unfavored here. So we can go Saboteur, and then one drop, one drop. Potentially allow us to kill the Zed if we think that that's the play. Yeah, I would say we're pretty unfavored here. Explosives Prime. Hoping no one drop. What a drag that is. Who plays Who plays affectionate Pora? Alright, so we're in some parallel dimension against some jank deck and we're gonna lose to it. <laughs> Life is great, kids. A sharp sure. I have my orders. Why are they I'm mono? Why are they mono challengers? Why are they mono challengers, folks? Someone tell me. Wow. Um. Do we swing now? Or do we go for the, the full the full nuts? I think we just swing now. So we need to start hitting uh like gangplank and jack and stuff pretty quickly here. Or we are going to uh have a problem. So if he goes for the swing and the challenge, we're just going to fervor onto the, Lu the Lulu. And hope we don't get nopified. Um, I think we're just going to do this now then. Again, if they have nopify, they have nopify. Well, there's no point in doing that though. Oh, it gets it out of range of... Yeah, okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, that sucks. Can we get no Nopify? Okay. On to the next one. Pretty unfavored there. It would have been nice to be able to wait, but as soon as he dropped the thing that would allow him to buff Lulu's health, our fervor no longer killed Lulu, so we were forced to act. We have to make him have it. But we were pretty unfavored there. 
that's not a typical deck, however. That's not a deck that I expected to see. So, uh, definitely a bit of a fluke there. I expect to see decks like this. Expecting to see scouts. This, again, is another bad matchup. It seems like we're going to get all the bad matchups today in a row. Um, this is probably okay. That egg. Did it move? Really be nice to see Misfortune, but... Okay. This could be an indoor build. Um, this could be War Mothers. People have been trying to get pretty tricky with this combination in terms of bluffs, so it's not always easy to read. We're hoping for a uh, for a three drop here or a two drop so we can curve out. We're obviously walking into a withering whale at this point. This will take the chill off. We missed our curve. Pretty unfortunate there. Gotta go with the flow. This at least gives us um, fervor if they uh, withering whale. We get to like use one of the creatures that's going to die for something. That's also fine. Um, I think in this case we'll kill this. He could have another Vile Feast. Not getting great matchups today, folks. Remember on this channel that we, uh, we just record and play. We do not... We do not uh, take a giant chunk of live streaming and then edit only uh, into wins. That's some disingenuous bullshit. That's what a lot of other streamers do. We don't do that here. Okay, so we're kind of expecting Avalanche there, but no Avalanche is pretty good. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think we just full swing here. Plan to use Sleep of the Fishes on something. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Vengeance. That's pretty good. Vengeance is pretty good. We've got him pretty low, though. We're going to play this Jack. We're going to sleep with the fishes on Jack. And do it again next turn. Now we're getting to the stage where we could really just use a Decimate. <clears throat> Our opponent is representing Ruination Manor right now, which is... Definitely problematic. Um, do this. Try to get him to act. Vile feast here would be good. Withering whale hurts a bit, but it means that we didn't lose our jack. <clears throat> I was originally going to target Jack with that. But I kind of figured he had Withering Whale still. So... Make this. 
And then we got this. And then we have enough to zap and drag out a, a Noxian Fervor, so we might be able to sneak by here. The doors. As well as a Decimate. Very cool. Wow, okay. That's generally how we want the games to go. Drink up. The tavern will sing our tale. Quick and just put a lot of fire downfield and fold them up. If our opponent's matching our early aggression with one drops and two drops, it gets uh, a lot more draw dependent. We need to get our gangplanks and misfortunes to overwhelm them. We need to draw our Captain Farron. I think your average game we're generally kind of favored. One for one so far. Thank you, Mox. Hey, welcome to the mirror. Set. Literal coin flip. It isn't really a lot of outskilling your opponent here. It's uh, usually just going to be who gets Misfortune first, and uh, probably not going to be us. I drew 5, 5, and 8. 5, 5, and 8, ladies and gentlemen. There's two Farons in the whole deck. <sighs> no one's the wiser. I have Shit. No orders. Good draw. They never see it coming. Death doesn't scare me. It's really, really good draw for him. Fortune favors the bold. Could be playing this into a fervor. Can't attack. Everything's in place. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we were just drawing drawing the worst curve here. This game's over. This game is very, very over. He's still running Make It Rain? Okay. Well, in case you didn't understand when I said a moment ago the game is very, very over, no one is supposed to still be running Make It Rain. <laughs> the fact that he is is fucking insane. Uh, but it definitely means we're dead. Monkey idol. Okay, this isn't this isn't a normal build at all. I don't know what's going on here, folks. But I think his draw is superior to ours in virtually every way. So we're just gonna be dead. Um what are we playing here? I guess Misfortune blocks this? Everything sucks here. Play this, we get... We get overwhelmed. Fuck. Looking for trouble? It found you. I'm just gonna get all the unwinnable matches today, huh? the Empire. Yeah, I'm done here. Some 
Somebody's gonna bleed for this. Not having a good time, folks. Keep in mind, this is the uh, most popular version of the deck, as listed on Mobilytics. We've changed virtually nothing. And we are getting our asses absolutely kicked. One unfavorable match, another unfavorable match that we did win, and then the mirror, which is just always coin flip. Okay, random jank. Okay, we got a one, two, three. Let's see if that's good enough. Could have swing for two there. Looks like we're getting the same result either way. How are we running into all the people who are still playing Make It Rain today? Can someone explain this to me? I played this game for an infinite amount of hours, especially since the Make It Rain nerf. And twice in a row we've queued into people who are still playing Make It Rain. Okay. So this is probably just Ezreal Twisted Fate with a Gangplank because they're missing one of their champions. Time for a true display of skill. Well, that sucks, but there's nothing we can do about it. Fortune favors the bold. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Uh huh. Hoping for a four drop here. Well, if he has a mystic shot in hand, he might end up wanting to block this. We might end up wanting to actually use the Misfortune Make It Rain next turn. I have my orders. Just to level up Gangplank a little faster. Depends on what our opponent does. Watch and learn. Sure. Promises you can't keep, little girl. Fate. Fortune. So he does get to kill my misfortune. We get to play Jack and swing with two five fives. And then we have Decimate in the pocket. That should be good enough. This 
angry for action, I... Okay. Definitely not what I expected. No one's the wiser. If he doesn't block, he's just dead next turn to sleep with the fishes. Okay. Lock the doors. I don't have the huh. Yeah. Okay. Two two. The problem with this deck, and you may be seeing why I don't particularly like playing it, is there isn't a lot of uh, there isn't a lot of skill involved in how it's piloted. Um, not all aggro decks are just dumb. Some are a little more complicated than others. Like the Nocturne Diana deck is fairly complicated. The um, the discard aggro deck can can sometimes offer a lot of lines that are complicated, and it's hard to mulligan. Uh, this deck in particular. Just kind of a straight line, and uh, if you have the right hand, you win. If you have the wrong hand, you lose. So it it doesn't feel very entertaining to engage with. It's fine, just not very interesting. So we're hoping to draw into some uh, some top end here. Misfortune is always what we're looking for first. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. You could just get this hit in. in Cast these two. Keep in mind, we could be walking into Avalanche, in which case there's nothing we can really do about that. That's a weird one. Confront? This is a spell? Why would you play this? Okay. That was loud. Okay, so... Kind of made it so we don't want to swing with this. If they don't break, they'll burn. The few for the many. These doors were true. I swear, every time I play against someone who has Trapper in their deck, it's supposed to put a, a Yeti three, up to three cards deep. It's always, 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 100% of the time, the next card. Like it never it never fails to be the next card. Tread carefully. So huh. keep hammering away. Now we just need some decimates. Decimates would be great. 
I guess Gangplank is okay. This is probably not a good matchup for us on the, on the whole. Nice to meet you. Um, I think playing this is fine. If we play this, we get the last Noxian Fervor, but he 100% uh, is going to challenge it with... He's got two challengers. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, fuck. We're in a bad position. Double challenger is... Really, really damning. I'm through waiting. Um, we can kill this and this. Not lethal yet, but you could play something that makes it lethal. The trap is set. So that makes us have to block. Um, play something to chump. Can now chump Trundle. So does that kill me? I kill this. Uh, I block this to this. I have to kill the trundle. I have to kill the trundle. Damn it. Nothing but top decks. Oh boy, that sucked. Bad day for Runeterra, folks. Bad day for Runeterra, folks. Nothing we can do about it. That's why I stopped caring about rank. These matchups feel so completely random and so totally meaningless that, like, I would advise never even trying to play ranked. Like, it's just it's just super not fun. <laughs> In Magic, there's a clear meta where the games are very skillful and involve a lot of decisions and a lot of understanding the individual cards in the deck and odds and stuff like that. And because of best of three... The nature of that skill expresses itself really clearly. Uh, because this is a best of one game, and essentially it's a simplified version of Magic, while there are a lot of elements about the interface, the design, the, the pricing model that I love and that are infinitely better than Magic the Gathering, uh, the raw gameplay does not attract me and make me want to come back to it as much as Magic did. Um, there's just not enough skill expression. I feel like I'm just grinding, uh, grinding to nothing 
for no satisfaction, for no reward, for no uh, for no sense of accomplishment. Whereas it definitely it definitely feels like you're accomplishing something when you rank up in Magic. Uh, well, that's been our games for today. If there's a specific deck you'd like to see me play on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd also like to know what your favorite color is and why you wear hats. Why do you wear hats? Why do people wear hats other than winter hats? Or people who wear winter hats when it's not winter? What's wrong with you? Did your mother not love you? Okay. My name is Gravity Groove for Not Safe for Work Room Terra. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Boom. Thanks for hanging out.